أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آمين A revelation from Allah most gracious, most merciful A book whereof the verses are explained in detail A Quran in Arabic for people who understand Being good news and admonition Yet most of them turn away and so they hear not They say, our hearts are under veils, concealed from that to which you do invite us, and in our ears is a deafness, and between us and you is a screen. So do you what you will, for us we shall do what we will. Say you, I am but a man like you. It is revealed to me by inspiration that your God is one God. So stand true to him and ask for his forgiveness. And woe to those who join gods with Allah, those who practice not regular charity, and who even deny the hereafter. For those who believe and work deeds of righteousness is a reward that will never fail. Say, is it that you deny him who created the earth in two days? And do you join equals with him? He is the Lord of all the worlds. He set on the earth mountains standing firm high above it, and bestowed blessings on the earth, and measured therein all things to give them nourishment in due proportion. In four days, in accordance with the needs of those who seek sustenance. Moreover, he comprehended in his design the sky, and it had been as smoke. He said to it, and to the earth, come you together, willingly or unwillingly. They said, we do come together in willing obedience. So he completed them as seven firmaments in two days, and he assigned to each heaven its duty and command. And we adorned the lower heaven with lights, and provided it with God. Such is the decree of him, the exalted in might, full of knowledge. But if they turn away, say you, I have warned you of a stunning punishment as of thunder and lightning, like that which overtook the Ad and the Thamud. Behold, the messengers came to them from before them and behind them, preaching, Serve none but Allah, they said. If our Lord had so pleased, he would certainly have sent down angels to preach. Now we reject your mission altogether. Now the Ad behaved arrogantly through the land, against all truth and reason and said, Who is superior to us in strength? What they did not see, that Allah, who created them, was superior to them in strength, but they continued to reject our signs. So we sent against them a furious wind through days of disaster, that we might give them a taste of a penalty of humiliation in this life. But the penalty of the hereafter will be more humiliating still, and they will find no help. As to the Thamud, we gave them guidance, but they preferred blindness of heart to guidance. So the stunning punishment of humiliation seized them because of what they had earned. But we delivered those who believed and practiced righteousness. On the day that the enemies of Allah will be gathered together, to the fire they will be marched in ranks. At length, when they reach the fire, their hearing their sight and their skins will bear witness against them as to all their deeds. They will say to their skins, Why bear you witness against us? They will say, Allah has given us speech. He who gives speech to everything, he created you for the first time, and unto him were you to return. You did not seek to hide yourselves, lest your hearing, your sight, and your skins should bear witness against you. But you did not think that Allah knew not many of the things that you used to do. But this thought of yours, which you did entertain concerning your Lord, has brought you to destruction, and now have you become of those utterly lost. If then they have patience, the fire will be a home for them. And if they beg to be received into favor, into favor will they not then be received. And we have destined for them intimate companions of like nature, 
who made alluring to them what was before them and behind them. And the sentence among the previous generations of genes and men who have passed away is proved against them, for they are utterly lost. The unbelievers say, Listen not to this Qur'an, but talk at random in the midst of its reading, that you may gain the upper hand. But we will certainly give the unbelievers a taste of a severe penalty, and we will requite them for the worst of their deeds. Such is the requital of the enemies of Allah, the fire. Therein will be for them the eternal home, a fit requital, for that they were wont to reject our signs. And the unbelievers will say, Our Lord, show us those among jinns and men who misled us. We shall crush them beneath our feet, so that they become the vilest before all. In the case of those who say, Our Lord is Allah, and further stand straight and steadfast, the angels descend on them from time to time. Fear you not, they suggest, nor grieve, but receive the glad tidings of the garden of bliss, that which you were promised. We are your protectors in this life and in the hereafter. Therein shall you have all that your souls shall desire. Therein shall you have all that you ask for. A hospitable gift from one oft forgiving, most merciful. Who is better in speech than one who calls men to Allah, works righteousness and says, I am of those who bow in Islam. Nor can goodness and evil be equal. Repel evil with what is better. Then will he between whom and you was hatred become as it were your friend and intimate. And no one will be granted such goodness except those who exercise patience and self-restraint. None but persons of the greatest good fortune. And if... At any time an incitement to discord is made to you by the evil one, seek refuge in Allah. He is the one who hears and knows all things. Among his signs are the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. Adore not the sun and the moon, but adore Allah, who created them, if it is him you wish to serve. But if the unbelievers are arrogant, no matter, for in the presence of your Lord are those who celebrate his praises by night and by day, and they never flag nor feel themselves above it. And among his signs is this, You see the earth barren and desolate, but when we send down rain to it, it is stirred to life and yields increase. Truly, he who gives life to the dead earth can surely give life to men who are dead for he has power over all things. Those who pervert the truth in our signs are not hidden from us. Which is better, he that is cast into the fire, or he that comes safe through on the day of judgment? Do what you will. Verily he sees clearly all that you do. Those who reject the message when it comes to them are not hidden from us. And indeed, it is a book of exalted power. No falsehood can approach it from before or behind it, it is sent down by one full of wisdom, worthy of all praise. Nothing is said to you that was not said to the messengers before you, that your Lord has at his command all forgiveness as well as a most grievous penalty. Had we sent this as a Qur'an in a language other than Arabic, they would have said, Why are not its verses explained in detail? What? A book not in Arabic? And a messenger? An Arab? Say, it is a guide and a healing to those who believe, and for those who believe not, there is a deafness in their ears, and it is blindness in their eyes. They are, as it were, being called from a place far distant. We certainly gave Moses the book aforetime, but disputes arose therein. Had it not been for a word that went forth before from your Lord, their differences would have been settled between them, but they remained in suspicious disquieting doubt thereon. Whoever works righteousness benefits his own soul. Whoever works evil, it is against his own soul. Nor is your Lord ever unjust, in the least, to his servants. To him is referred the knowledge of the hour of judgment. He knows all. No date fruit comes out of its sheath, nor does a female conceive within her womb, nor bring forth young, but by his knowledge. 
the day that Allah will propound to them the question, Where are the partners you attributed to me? They will say, We do assure you, not one of us can bear witness. The deities they used to invoke aforetime will leave them in the lurch, and they will perceive that they have no way of escape. Man does not weary of asking for good things, but if ill touches him, he gives up all hope and is lost in despair. When we give him a taste of some mercy from ourselves, after some adversity has touched him, he is sure to say, This is due to my merit. I think not that the hour of judgment will ever be established. But if I am brought back to my Lord, I have much good stored in his sight. But we will show the unbelievers the truth of all that they did, and we shall give them the taste of a severe penalty. When we bestow favors on man, he turns away and gets himself remote on his side instead of coming to us. And when evil seizes him, he comes full of prolonged prayer. Say, See you if the revelation is really from Allah, and yet do you reject it. Who is more astray than one who is in a schism, far from any purpose? Soon we will show them our signs in the furthest regions of the earth, and in their own souls, until it becomes manifest to them that this is the truth. Is it not enough that your Lord does witness all things? Ah, indeed. Are they in doubt concerning the meeting with their Lord? Ah, indeed. It is He that does encompass all things, 